limit 79 comma mean 73.7 comma standard deviation 2.3 comma cumulative yes or one closing it up minus norm dot dist tab x lower x 72 comma mean 7370 comma uh, standard deviation 2.3 comma cumulative yes or one and close it up and enter let's percentify home tab number percentify adding some decimals and so there we have it now if i wanted to to graph that I'm gonna say, all right, let's say this is gonna be equal to my dynamic reference over here. And then I'll center that home tab, uh, alignment, center, wrap it, font group, black, white. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna say, okay, so, so now with my, I, instead of trying to do an if function that picks both those up, I'm just going to take these two and I'm going to say that that I want you to, well, let's do it this way. One way you can do it is you could, you could try to plot the lower, you can plot the upper, and then you can try to sum them up uh, only if something is showing, if it's greater than or equal to zero or something like that with an if function. Uh, or I could do I could do something like this. I can say this is going to be equals if brackets, and then there's basically two tests that need to be met. So I'm going to embed now an and function. So now I've got an and within my if, so I can have my two tests. So if I'm going to say and then and the logic test is going to be this uh, number, the x. If that. Uh, is let's say we're going to say that has to be uh, less than or let's say it has to be greater than or equal to the lower bit the 72 and so we're going to say a comma and we also want to say that this number over here is going to be less than or equal to the upper limit 79 that closes up our and so we've embedded those two conditions in the if using the embedded and and then what then i'm going to put a comma what are we going to do if that's true well if that's true then you pick up the p of x and then comma if it's not true we just want you to leave it blank which is two quotes and then close it up and enter so nothing's there if i double well now i'm going to double click on it again i need absolute references for these two cells which is on in columns d and e so anything on d and e so this one f4 and then this one f4 making them absolute dollar signs before the letters and numbers enter and then double clicking on the fill handle to pull it down and then you can see it basically adds up that middle bit let's highlight this whole thing home tab, number group, percentify, adding some decimals. All right, so now let's just do another, once again, our, our chart. So I'm gonna start the same way, control shift down, shift up, insert charts, drop down here. We want an area chart. I'm gonna pull that to the side, remove the title. Gonna scroll to the side a bit. I'll do this a little bit faster since we've seen this a few times. I'm gonna go to the data up top, go to the X's, select the data. I wanna fix these X's. Selecting this one, I'm gonna pick my X's, control shift down, shift up, and all right, and okay. So boom, the X's have been entered. Then I'm gonna pick up my second data set, go into the charts data again adding the second data set which is going to be named this my dynamic name removing this bit i'm going to select this item so i want to pick up the whole range even though there's only data in the middle of it and say okay so there it is it pulled it in okay boom that looks good and then i'm going to so now you can see that this is the upper limit so right this is in the middle there even though it looks like it's almost kind of picking up the whole bit because of that triangle but that's fine so now i'm going to say all right let's double click on this one giving us our format data series make our secondary 
uh, axis, closing this up. I'm gonna remove this bit because I don't need it. And then I'm gonna go into my data again, second data set, changing the secondary axis to be the Z score, control shift down and okay. It didn't pick it up. Notice that it's a little finicky sometimes because I could see it didn't do it. What did you do, Excel? Close that up. I'm gonna select this. It's a little finicky, control shift down. I'm not gonna get upset. What did you do, Excel? Why did you even do that, man? Why did you even do this? Like, I don't even know you anymore, Excel. Okay, don't be too hard on Excel. We're gonna say, there it is. So then, so then I can hit the plus button and then hit the arrow, secondary horizontal, and then, okay. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna pull this down to the bottom, double clicking on it, labels, and bring it down to the bottom, lower, and so now we've got this between one, which is dynamic, because if I make the upper limit, let's say, let's say we make it between 74 or something like that. Now you can see it basically gives you that between. So you might not need all of these graphs uh, to, to, to represent your data. One would probably be fine, but you do want to be able to build them so that you can represent your data pictorially because it's, it's often quite useful uh, to do so. Let's just do some formatting on this now. I'm going to select this whole thing. I'll just make it, uh, I'll make it home tab, number, select a bucket. Let's make it blue. Let's make it bordered. So there we have that. And then I can select all of this stuff. Let's make it home tab, font group, blue, and, oh, not white, undo, undo, control Z. Let's border that. And we could sum these up if we want to. Alt equal, just to sum up our totals. Alt equal, may as well. Alt equal, oh, not that way. What are you doing? What are you doing, Excel? Uh, you want to pick the stuff above. You know what I wanted. Don't play, don't play dumb. Don't play dumb with me, Excel. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, think you're so smart, but I can tell. All right, so there we go. Now we should have a space between our table over here, I feel like, so I'm gonna put my cursor on column F, right click and insert, and then I'm gonna clear the formatting in here, just so I have that interim white uh, bit, so they're not all connected together with my table. I'm gonna go back to my home tab and make some borders around that. And so that will help you to basically answer questions and look at it pictorially, whether you're giving X's or whether you're given Z scores. Uh, and then you can and then you can draw and you can draw various graphs even if you can't draw them uh, by hand. Let's do a quick review on the spelling. Did I how's how's the spelling looking? It's perfect. It can't be. Spell check must be wrong. But there it is, it's good enough.